become a detractor for DSP? I have a theory. I want to see. I want to see this clip, but I, I I will break down exactly what happened to Rich. I would literally bet my life on on what it is. Unless you want to hear it right now, Kim. Run it, run it. So this motherfucker got divorced, okay? And divorce ain't no, never fun for nobody, all right? But he's also one of these fragile ego people. So his divorce is a shit show. Meanwhile, just like me, just like Jordy, just like a lot of other YouTubers, our job was to be fat and talk into a microphone. But YouTube is evolving, right? In the tech sphere. You've got Linus Tech, tips you got uh marcus brownlee you got uh jay's two cents these guys are innovating they're getting good at what they do the people that talk about video games are better at it than rich spawn wave uh the quartering uh, the quartering reads news but he does it better than fucking uh rich does so rich starts getting left in the fucking dirt well back then he was one of the early people to start calling me out on my shit. And it got him way more views than in talking about Nintendo Switch rumors or some bullshit video game review or reading the fucking news to him. So that's what happened. He ended up in this bad feedback loop of drama does better, drama does better. And instead of choosing to innovate like so many of us fat fucks refuse to do, instead of innovating, instead of hiring a team, instead of trying to do what Tech Tips, a lot of Tech Tips is trying to evolve, trying to be a better content creator, he decided to go down the drama shit shoot. Yeah, and you're and he's not good at that either. Dude, you are 100% right. Ladies and gentlemen, and like D, like fucking Rich did the DK Oldies thing to fucking death. He rode that shit harder than anyone else. I swear to God, he did. And you're not good at it. That's the problem. Everybody else brings something to the table. Rich, to what, takes his titties out, uh, plays with the chicken. It's not interesting. It's not good. If you're going to do the same thing as everybody else, you have to do it at least better or more interesting or have a fucking hook, and Rich didn't. So he entered this downward fucking spiral. Yeah. So his YouTube career is shitting on him. His marriage is shitting on him. And he decided to turn to drugs. Now, look, marijuana is barely a drug. But if you do it the way he was fucking doing it, it'll take over your fucking life. I, he was popping fucking edibles and sitting there high out of his mind, putting out shit content. And that's sounds what he... Like a, yeah. It sounds like you're describing fucking Ethan Ralph right now. Because Ethan oh, Ralph I, had the Anita Scarsesian thing. And then he just went to do the kill stream. Now he's just an alcoholic. Yeah. I, and, 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 and like... you. He cannot take criticism. And that's coming from me, by the way. He cannot take criticism at all. He cannot stand to have the slightest blow to his ego. But like Keem just said, when you rally the fucking crowd against Alyssa Mercante, against DK Oldies, against the woke mob, when they get bored, they're going to turn on you. So when yep. you criticize everyone else, you got to expect to take some fucking criticism. Rich can't handle it. So what's he do? He takes fucking more weed. He takes his tits out he starts criticizing fucking phil he does literally the lowest common denominator shit and the cycle continues and the whole time he's doing this he's losing viewers he's losing subs the whole fucking time that he continues to wedge so, himself yeah, into this so tiny he absolutely fucking corner he absolutely yeah, sucks but he absolutely sucks but look at here's here's the thing so